In this video, we shall understand how to prove gas divergence theorem for a shell region in spherical coordinate system. Let us see what is given in the problem. Vector D is given. Phi R A cap R. So the problem is in spherical coordinate system. A shell region is defined by the radii R equal to A and R equal to B. So there are two spheres. The radius B is greater than A. Both of them are centered at the origin. So the image is given here. Inner sphere is having radius A, outer sphere is B. The space between the two regions contain charge distribution due to which electric flux is coming out of both the spheres. Now let us take Gauss divergence theorem now. We have to prove it. See the question asked as to prove the Gauss divergence theorem. So the divergence theorem is given by double integral of D vector given for closed surface, let us say S is equal to triple integral of divergence of D throughout volume, which is enclosed by the surface S. So first we shall take left hand side of the divergence theorem separately. And we'll perform this closed surface integration over D. If you observe the closed surface of the given problem, say so this is going to be the outer sphere. This is one part. Also, we have to con consider the inner sphere surface also. So these two put together form closed surface for the shell region, right? So if the charge is positive within the shell region, then the direction of electric flux is expected to be coming out in this direction. From the inner surface, it is coming out inward. So there are two surfaces for the defined region, the outer as well as inner. Right. So the direction of D on the outer sphere is A kappa. Direction of D on the inner sphere is minus A kappa. inner, we can say it is minus A kappa. So it is radially inward. The flux is radially inward from the inner sphere and radially outward from the outer sphere. So the two surfaces put together will form closed surface. So I would like to split this closed surface into two different integrals in which one integration we consider on the outer surface. For the outer surface, radius is equal to B plus one more integral, we take it for inner surface for which R equal to A, D dot DS. In the regular spherical problem, there used to be only one sphere, so one integral, but here two spheres are present. So we shall carry out the integration one by one. For the outer sphere, 
evaluation we shall substitute for d the d is given as 5r a cap r dot let us check once again the given d value so if you observe here d is given as 5r a cap r dot ds so differential area on spherical surface which is given by r square sin theta d theta d phi the direction of the surface on the outer sphere is a cap r same way for the integration over in a sphere radius r equal to a the given vector is 5r a cap r dot r square sin theta d theta d phi a cap r we have the two integrals here let us take up the first integral unit vector is a cap r in the first term here also a cap r so a cap r dot a cap r is one similarly in the second also okay in the second here it's minus because the direction of the inner sphere is minus a cap r as i showed in the diagram so the first integral becomes now 5 r square into r is r cube sin theta d theta d phi similarly the second integral let us take minus outside for the inner sphere here also it is 5 r cube sin theta d theta d phi r is a and r is equal to b r equal to b and r equal to a it is the most important one because otherwise you may tend to cancel both the terms because both look similar with opposite polarity plus and minus so they won't get cancelled because of their different r values let us take out five common factor r is also constant here but i have to substitute b for r it's b cube the first integration has to be performed with a theta so it is sin theta d theta second integral for phi limits for phi is 0 to 2 pi to define completely closed sphere for theta it is 0 to pi for the complete sphere minus 5 r is to be substituted here a so we get a cap sin theta d theta d phi limits same 0 to pi 0 to 2 pi for the sphere so in this step now we shall perform the integration sin theta it gives us minus cos theta 0 to pi d phi is pi 0 to 2 pi 
minus 5 a cube same cos theta 0 to pi the five values 0 to 2 pi So now, after applying the limit, minus cos pi minus cos 0, 2 pi minus 0, pi way square remains same, same way, cos pi upper limit minus lower limit. This is 2 pi minus 0. So finally, Five big cube. Cos pi is minus one minus cos zero is one, so minus two minus two minus plus two. Here it is two pi five a cube. Here also two and two pi. Finally, we are having four pi into five totally. 20 pi b cube minus 20 pi a cube. So now the left hand side gives us totally 20 pi b cube minus a cube. So after performing closed surface integral over D, we get 20 pi into B cube minus A cube Coulomb. Now let us take up RHS, which is volume integral of divergence of D So for this, consider del dot t, divergence of d first. So the divergence has to be performed in spherical coordinate system. So we have the formula 1 by r square, rho by rho r, r square into dr. Since the vector d contains only phi r a cap r this is dr and there are no d theta component and d phi component so then you need to write the other parts of the formula so we can get the answer with this term itself r square dr is here phi r so 1 by r what is to be differentiated is r cube 5 can be taken out as constant denominator is r square differentiation of r cube is 3 r square so finally, we get 15. Divergence of D is ready. So that our RHS becomes triple integral of divergence of D dB is equal to triple integral of, in place of divergence, we have 15. Differential volume element in spherical coordinate system is R square sine theta, dr, d theta, and d phi. So all the three variables will be present in volume element.
So 15 is constant. We have three integrals to be performed. First for R. So we have here the terms R square dr. For theta, we have sin theta, d theta, and we have phi here. The limits for phi for close pair is 0 to 2 pi, theta is 0 to pi. For r, r, the limits are a to b, because r starts from origin, the midpoint, r equal to 0, it grows towards infinity positive direction. So inner radius first comes, then outer radius, A to B. Fifteen, integration of R square is R cube by three. Limits A to B. And the previous steps, if you go back and observe, Integration of sine theta over 0 to pi gives us 2. The d phi gives us 2 pi, finally. Fifteen, three can be taken out. Apply the limits, upper limit B, lower limit A, 4 pi. It's 5. So totally we'll get 20 pi B cube minus A cube. Therefore, in conclusion, You have RHS value given 20 pi B cube minus A cube, which is also the value of LHS. So that is the complete solution for the problem. So we have proved divergence theorem for given D vector and given region.